What's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the newly added nesting feature in LaunchBox. Now this is a very powerful and flexible nesting system that's only limited by your imagination. In this video I'm going to show you what I've done in one of my LaunchBox builds. Then we're going to move over to a fresh build and I'm going to show you how to get started with nesting. So first things first, you need to be on the latest build of LaunchBox. Right now I'm on LaunchBox 8.9. This is available for free and premium users. In order to access all of the nesting features, you will need to be in the platform category view. If we go to platform and we try to create a new one, it's just not going to work in here. This is specifically for platform category view. But the new playlist that you create will be available in the playlist section. So I've created a few here and I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to open up my console section. You might notice it looks a little different here. I've added a new category for my Atari consoles. If I drop this down, I have all of my Atari consoles under Atari consoles. So I can just go to my 2600, 5200, 7800, and so on and so on. I've also done the same with my Sega consoles. 32X, Genesis, Mark III, Master System, Pico, SG-1000. So this is a very basic setup here. I've also gone through with my Nintendo consoles. As you can see, have them listed here. But if you look at Nintendo 64, we have another arrow and we can drop down from here. So my Nintendo console section is a new platform category that I've created. Inside of here, I've added all of my Nintendo consoles. For my N64 section, I've added a little extra here. We're going to drop this menu down. I've added developers, midway, rare. Now you can go through each one of your systems and do this. I just set this up for the video. This is just a basic setup. Also have some genres here, action, fighting, flying, racing, and I have all games. So this is actually really simple to set up and I'm going to go over the basics with you real quick. In my Nintendo 64 section, I've added two new categories, developers and genres. Inside of each one of these, I've added new playlists, fighting, flying, racing. So like I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, it's only limited to your imagination. If you can think of some kind of platform category or playlist to come up with, you can add it here. It's really simple to do. I'm going to move over to a fresh build of LaunchBox and I'm going to show you how to set it up. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Remember, you need to be on the latest version of LaunchBox. As of making this video, I'm on 8.9. This will change in the future. We also need to navigate to the platform category section. So first up, I'm going to show you how to group your consoles together. This will work with handhelds, it'll work with computers, it'll work with arcade machines. We're just going to go with consoles because it's a little easier to start out with. So if we highlight the console section here, we can right click and add a new category or a playlist. We're going to go with category. We have a unique name and a nested name. The unique name needs to be unique. It can't be the same name as any other category that you create. This is going to keep it separate. Since we're just going to be grouping manufacturers names together, your unique name is probably going to be the same as your nested. So for instance, Nintendo consoles. Now if we click on nested name, it's going to come up with Nintendo consoles. We're not going to create another category named Nintendo Consoles. If you are, make sure you change the unique name. Parents, we want this listed under Consoles. You can also add notes if you want to. For instance, this category is going to contain all of my Nintendo Consoles. So we have the unique name, nested name. You can also add a sort title and a video path. Now this is mainly for big box here. We're focusing on launch box. Click OK. Now we have Nintendo consoles here. It's going to be empty. We want to find each one of our Nintendo consoles. So I'm going to go to Nintendo GameCube. 
I'm going to right click. I'm going to edit. I want to go to parents. I'm going to open up this console section and we now have the new category that we just created, Nintendo consoles. I want it to be specifically in my Nintendo console section. So I'm just going to leave this checked and I'm going to click OK. Now my Nintendo GameCube disappeared from here. It is located under my Nintendo console section. We need to go down the list in 64, edit, parents, drop down, Nintendo consoles, click OK. NES, edit, parents, drop it down, Nintendo consoles category. This is the one we created. So now, under consoles, I have my Nintendo consoles, N64, NES, Nintendo GameCube. I'm going to finish adding my other Nintendo systems here. And there we have it. Under consoles, Nintendo consoles, N64, NES, GameCube, and Super Nintendo. Let's go ahead and do this with Sega also. Now the method I'm using here is not mandatory. Use your imagination, you can come up with other things to nest with. Now I'm going to add a Sega section to my consoles. So right click, add, new category, Sega consoles. You can add notes, parents is going to be under consoles, click OK. Now we have a new platform, Sega consoles. I'm now going to add my Sega systems to it. Sega Dreamcast, right click, edit, parents, Sega consoles. Sega Genesis, right click, edit, parents, Sega consoles. Just going to go down the list real quick. So we just added specific categories for Nintendo consoles and Sega consoles. So there's really a lot you can do with this nested system here. Now we're going to go into an individual system. We'll do N64. And we're going to add a playlist. And we could also add another category if we'd like in here. Right click. Add. Let's do a category. Let's do developers. Since we're doing developers, we kind of want to come up with a unique name specific to the N64 developers. So easy to do in 64 developers the nested name can be developers now it's going to show up as developers under here but the reason we have a unique name is because maybe you want to create developers under GameCube and NES also we can't just name it developers because everything's going to be super confusing in 64 developers is our unique name the name that will show up underneath is developers. Parents should already be chosen here since we're creating this under the N64 platform. We'll click OK. Now when we drop this down, we have a new section, developers, but we need to populate this section. So we're going to add a few playlists. Right click, add, playlist. Unique name, N64, rare, Nested name is just going to be rare. We want to auto populate this section. Auto populate. So, this is where it can get a little confusing. Just follow along and you should be good to go. For the field, we need to choose platform. Is equal to, since we're doing Nintendo 64, we only want Nintendo 64 games from rare in this section. We need to add another field here, and that's going to be the developer field, is equal to rare. Now we can check the games that are going to populate here. These are all N64 games by the rare developers. You can add notes under parents, 
we want it under the N64 developers category. It's what we created over here. Click OK. It's going to auto populate. So now we have Nintendo consoles, Nintendo 64. We have some subsections, developers, rare. Let's go ahead and add another section under developers. Highlight developers, right click, add playlist. We're going to do Midway, N64, Midway. Nested name, Midway. Auto-populate, field. We're doing N64 games, so we want platform is equal to Nintendo 64. We need to add another field. Developer is equal to Midway. You can check the games that are going to populate here. Add notes. Parent section should be ready to go because we are creating it under the N64 developers category that we created. Click OK. So now under developers, we have our Midway section. We also have our Rare section. There's a few more things I'd like to show you here. First up, we're going to add an all game section to our Nintendo 64 section. So we're going to right click, add, new playlist, unique name, N64 all games. We can change the nested name to all games, auto populate. From here, all we need to do is choose the platform. So we'll go field, platform, equal to Nintendo 64. All our Nintendo 64 games should populate here. Click OK. Now we have an all game section. Next thing I want to show you is genres. Back to N64 right click, add. We want to add a category because we're going to add several different genres inside. New category, N64 genres. Nested name can be genres. Parents, we're under the N64 platform section. Click OK. So now we have a genre section. We want to create some playlists inside of here. Right click, add, new playlist. Unique name, N64 fighting. Nested name, we can name it fighting games. Auto populate, for this field, platform, equal to, Nintendo 64. We need to add another field. Genres is equal to fighting. Now you can check the games that are going to populate here. Under the auto populate section, you can either use is equal to or contains. So we'll go contains fighting. The same game should be chosen here. Parents, N64 genres, the category we created. Click OK. So now, from the top here, we've created a Nintendo console section. Inside of here, N64, we have our developers, we have genres, and we have all games. Now you can just start adding more to these categories. So for N64, if you want to add more developers, Go ahead, do it the same exact way. Same thing with genres. You want flying games, you want racing games, you want motorcycle games, add them right in here. Right click, add playlist, unique name. N64 racing games. Nested name, racing games. Auto populate, first field, platform, equal to 
Nintendo 64. Field genre is equal to racing. These are the games that will auto populate. Click OK. Now we have a racing game section. We just created a Nintendo console section. We've added our Nintendo consoles. We've gone into N64, added developers, genres, and all games. Now you can keep going deeper and deeper if you want to in this nested system. Like I said, your imagination is the only limit here. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a better understanding of nesting. Now, what I just showed you was some basic nesting features that can be added. You can go super deep with this. It's really up to what you can think of. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments below. You can also sign up for the LaunchBox forums. There's tons of help over there. And like always, thanks for watching.